Hey, Teach Me Grappling. This is Coach Brian uh, with another episode of Narrated Wrestling this yeah. time. Uh, today was my birthday, guys, so I didn't get a video out. I uh, wasn't teaching any classes today, but I did have to go to wrestling practice and um, had the boys wrestling at the end, and I was like, you know what? Let me shoot a little footage. So we got Trent on top of Lucas. Trent's got some size on Lucas. Um, he's working on a little ball and chain. Um, we're just going to show you a few rounds. Ball and chain puts him on his back briefly, maybe just long enough to score right there. Um, he's now going to start practicing something he's not used to doing. He's looking to hook the leg with his left leg, and he's looking to manipulate the hips of Lucas on the bottom. And uh, again, as Trent just is working on this. He ends up abandoning the ball and chain, which is the grip the from between chain. the crotch with his left hand. And he decides, I kind of encourage him to just control the leg and roll. So watch this right here. He's going to hit a right shoulder roll, very similar to jiu-jitsu. He tried to kind of almost half Nelson the leg to put him on his back. Lucas tries to sit out and cut towards Trent's back. Trent catches him, steps over, puts him on his back, lets him off his back. Obviously, Trent's got a nice... Uh, weight advantage over Luke, uh, but uh, we we always have our wrestlers wrestle all different style uh, sizes, and time runs out on these short rounds. So next up, what are you gonna do? We will see. All right, we're gonna get uh, Alex right here. Alex is gonna be going with Luke, and uh, watch Alex's movement. Um, he's Trent's little brother. Nice little movement with the leg. Notice he's not in the lowest of stance, but his movement is so good. He's going to be checking different setups, moving the feet, guiding them one way, then the other, then attacking, not using strength at all, mostly all technique. Nice little foot sweep, catches Luke off balance, could put him on his back, ends up in a funky Merkel leg, and he's going to be looking for maybe a split right there, but he decides to abandon it, let it go. He's got the cross wrist. Tries to come up the back door with his left hand, looking for wrist control. Uh, uh, Lucas is getting his own control and then looking to turn in. He cuts an arm between the bodies. And I think Alex is probably going to let him go. Oh, we got Luke looking for a little trip. Head pops outside. Again, in the crackdown position for Lucas. He really likes the crackdown, actually. And um, again, Alex is trying to flow. Lucas ducks the leg with his head as Alex looks for a crotch lift. So maybe trying to take Luke over his head, score some near fall right here. And uh, it, he makes Luke actually abandon the position. Uh, Alex's leg is definitely in a non-conventional position. He's looking for a cradle. I was trying to encourage him to lock up the leg, stand up, and drive back towards the head. But Lucas has got some good flexibility. He's able to turn his hip. Alex lets it go. Comes back on top. Looks to pull him into his lap. And thread one hook in. Banana split. Lucas tries to go with the flow. Did not work. But uh, he wanted to kick and roll through with it. And time runs out. So we've only got one more round. We're going to show you guys a round with uh, Alex and Trent. And then they're going to have a little argument at the end. We want you guys to decide. So they start off kind of slow. Trent's practicing his motion and his movement. Again, he's a little bit stronger than Alex. Um, he's a couple years older. Alex is probably a little more fluid. But Trent's got, you know, a little more maturity. Um... Nice little uh, elbow off by Alex. Tries to catch the ankle, but Trent saw it coming, was able to react. They get into a collar tie here. Trent's looking at that inside tie. Elbow control and then inside tie. Sweep single on the outside. Comes up with an under. Hits a quick sweep single on the other side with his head on the outside. Alex looks to sit in order to get some type of, again, lock in the crotch. And Trent sees the avenue towards his back, drags him down to get the takedown, decides to let him up. So in wrestling, uh, in, in folk style, that's actually a takedown. Even though he didn't make 
uh, Alex drop to a knee. So in freestyle, you got to drop to a knee, but in folk style, you don't have to. Alex is feigning. They kind of collide there. Trent got the better of the position, picked up the single leg. Alex is hopping, looking to counter. Looks to jump away. Trent sticks to him like glue. Watch this with Alex right here. The arm's over the shoulder. So as Alex tripods up, kind of giving up one more takedown, checks a nice little arm throw right there, but it's just enough to get Trent to let him go, come out front. And uh, as we wind down here, again, I think they're going to have one more quick exchange. If I remember correctly, it was kind of exciting. Let's see what happens here. So nice movement, motion. Alex takes kind of a bad shot. Trent looks to run behind, almost behind. Look at this, Alex, fake one way, then the other, and then back again on a switch. That was a nice movement. Trent kind of gets the better of the position. Time runs out. Hope you guys enjoyed. We'll see you guys next time with more great stuff. So go ahead and take your head off. What's going on right here? Big what, cow flyer. What, what's going on? It's called not protecting yourself. Not protecting you yourself. These? Perfect ears. <laughs> That's what noobs have. Experienced people, they get big ears. Nah, it requires like another level Brian, of guys. experience to keep your ears nice and perfect. Coach Brian has some pretty messed up ears, so <laughs> I mean, I think that says something. Alex is here with his ear protection, I'm right here. All right, leave a comment down below. Let us know who's right. Big ears or little ears? Who Perfect is? ears. <laughs>